Okay, now we're going to solve certain problems from exercise 1.2 and uh, before we start the solution let us remember that in terms of integers integers of the same sign are added and integers of opposite sign are subtracted question number one write down a pair of integers number a whose sum is minus seven so we can start the solution like this let us take a pair of integers minus 2 and minus 5 we are going to take the sum of these two given integers minus 2 and minus 5 here taking the sum of minus 2 and minus 5 minus 2 and minus 5 are added so removing bracket we get minus 2 from here and minus and plus multiply becomes minus so both the integers are negative minus 2 and minus 5 integers of the same sign are added so the sum of 2 and 5 is 7 so it will take the common sign minus minus 7 we can take another examples let us take the sum of minus 3 and minus 4 minus 3 and minus 4 are added so minus and plus multiply becomes minus here let us remove bracket minus and plus multiply becomes minus so both the integers are minus minus 3 and minus 4 should be added we get minus 7 3 and 4 adding we get 7 and taking the common sign minus minus 7 sub number b now we're going to find two integers whose difference is minus 10 so starting the solution as let us take a pair of integers minus 15 and minus 5 so we are going to take the difference of minus 15 and minus 5 taking the difference means subtracting the second integer from the first integer minus 15 now removing bracket minus n plus outside bracket will be multiplied we get minus 15 minus and plus multiply is minus minus 15 so now removing this bracket minus and minus multiply becomes plus we get plus 5 so now we have two integers having opposite sign so we need to do subtraction subtracting the small absolute number from the bigger absolute number we get 10 15 is subtracting 5 we get 10 but it will take the answer will take the sign which is carried by the bigger absolute minus minus 10 let us take another example for this taking the difference of minus 11 and minus 1 so minus 11 is subtracting minus 1 removing bracket we get minus 11 and here minus and minus multiply becomes plus we get plus 1 so minus and plus should be subtracted opposite sign should be subtracted we get minus 10 it will take the sign of the bigger upside with minus minus 10 next number C let us take a pair of integers whose sum is 0 so taking a pair of integers minus 10 and plus 10 taking the sum of minus 10 and plus 10 here bracket will be removed we get minus 10 and plus 10 so opposite signs should be subtracted subtracting 10 from 10 we get 0 so the sum of two integers minus 10 and plus 10 is 0 we can also take another example minus 9 and plus 9 taking the sum of minus 9 and plus 9 removing bracket we get minus 9 and plus 9 so 
9 is subtracting 9, we get 0. So the sum of these two integers is 0. Next is question number 2. Sub number A. Write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8. So let us take a pair of integers minus 1 and minus 9. The question is asking negative integers whose difference gives 8. Taking the difference of minus 1 and minus 9. The second integer minus 9 is subtracted by the first integer minus 1. So removing bracket minus multiplied with plus outside bracket becomes minus minus 1 and removing bracket from here minus and minus multiply becomes plus plus 9 so now we have two integers having opposite sign if the integers have opposite sign we have to subtract so 9 is subtracting 1 then subtracts 1 we get 8 so the bigger absolute the bigger number 9 is getting positive sign so it will be carried to the answer plus 8 we can also take another example minus 2 and minus 10 two negative integers whose difference will be plus 8 subtracting minus 10 from minus 2 minus 2 is subtracting minus 10 taking the difference is subtraction so removing bracket we get minus 2 and minus and minus multiply is plus plus 10 opposite sign should be subtracted so 10 subtracting 2 we get 8 so the bigger absolute 10 is getting positive there will be plus in the answer plus 8 sub number b write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5 now we're going to find two integers having opposite sign one negative and one positive so let us take a pair of integers minus 10 and 1 plus 5 opposite sign so taking the sum of minus 10 and plus 5 means adding the two integers removing bracket we get minus 10 from here and removing bracket from here we get plus 5 so now we have integers of opposite sign we have to subtract subtracting 5 from 10 we get 5 so it will carry the sign which is carried by the bigger absolute plus minus one. 5 another example for this two integers having opposite sign minus 8 and plus 3 let us take the sum of these two integers minus 8 and plus 3 taking the sum means adding the two integers removing bracket we get minus 8 removing bracket we get plus 3 so 8 is subtracting 3 we get 5 and the bigger absolute 8 is carrying negative sign so it will be carried to the answer minus minus 5 next is number C write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3 two integers having opposite sign and taking the difference to get minus 3 so let us take uh, a pair of integers having opposite sign minus 2 and plus 1 so taking the difference of minus 2 and plus 1 means subtracting the second integer from the first integer minus 2 subtracting plus 1 so removing bracket we get minus 2 and here also removing bracket we get minus 1 so both the integers have the same sign integers having the same sign should be added we get 3 2 adding with 1 we get 3 but it will take the common sign minus question number 3 in a quiz team s scored minus 40 10 0 
and team B scored 10, 0, minus 40 in three successive rounds. Which team scored more? Can you say that we can add integers in any order? According to the question here, team A is scoring a negative mark in the first round. That means they are giving incorrect answer and 10 mark in the second round and 0 mark, no score. And team B scored 10 in the first round and in the second round 0 and in the third round negative mark minus 40. So let us find which team has scored better. So the total score of team A can be taken like this. Adding all the three scores, minus 40 plus 10 and 0. Adding all together. So removing bracket. After removing bracket from here, we get minus 40. And here we get plus 10 and here we get plus 0. And neglecting 0 from here. So minus 40 and plus 10, opposite signs should be subtracted. So subtracting 10 from 40, we get 30, but it will take the negative sign, which is carried by the bigger absolute, minus 30. Now the total score of team B can be taken like this. Adding all the scores, 10 plus 0 plus minus 40. So adding all together, removing bracket from here, 10, 0 and minus and plus multiply becomes minus, minus 40. Neglecting 0 score from here, 10 minus 40, opposite sign should be subtracted. We get 30. Bigger number, 40 is carrying a negative sign, so it will be carried to the answer, minus 30. So the scores of both the team are same. Both of them are scoring minus 30. Now the last part of the question. Can you say that we can add integers in any order? The answer is yes. We can add integers in any order. We can observe that the scores of both the team A are different orders. Here from, this, from the total score of team A, the order is minus 40, 10, and 0, and the total score of team B is taken as 10, 0, and minus 40. They are of different orders, but still we are getting the total scores are equal. Next is question number 4. Fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. Sub number 1. Minus 5 plus blank is equal to minus 8 plus blank so we can solve by using commutative property in commutative property two integers are added which is equal to the sum of the same integers when the order of the integers are interchanged so in this case the value of a is minus 5 and this blank is taking the place of B and minus 8 is taking the place of B and this blank is taking the place of A since the value of A is minus 5 this blank which is taking the place of A can be filled by using minus 5 and the value of b is minus 8 so this blank which is taking the place of b can be filled in by minus 8 sub number 2 minus 53 plus blank which is equal to minus 53 we can fill this blank by using additive identity. Here any integer a which is added with 0 gives the same integer, that integer itself. 
Here the value of a is minus 53. So the integer minus 53, which is added with 0, gives the same integer minus 53. Sub number 3. 17 plus blank is equal to 0. So we can find the value by using additive inverse. In additive inverse, an integer which is added with its additive inverse gives 0. So here, the value of a is 17. So the integer a which is added with its additive inverse gives 0. So in this case also, the number 17 adding with its additive inverse minus 17 will give 0. Sum number 4. 13 plus minus 12 plus blank is equal to blank plus minus 12 plus minus 7. So we can find the value of these blanks by using associative property. In associative property, three integers are added when the first and the second integers are grouped by using bracket and which is equal to the sum of the same integers but the second and the third integer are grouped by using bracket so here the value of a is 13 since the value of a is 13 we can fill this blank by using the value of a which is 13 and the value of c here is minus 7 so this blank is taking the value of c since the value of c is minus 7 so this blank which is taking the value of c can be filled with minus 7 sub number 5 minus 4 plus blank plus minus 3 which is equal to blank plus 15 plus blank so we can fill these blanks by using associative property here in this case the three integers are added and the second and the last integers are grouped by using bracket and at the right side the first and the second integers are grouped by using bracket so here the value of a is minus 4 this blank is taking the place of integer a since the value of a is minus 4 this blank which is taking the value of a can be filled with the value of a which is minus 4 the value of b is plus 15 so this blank which is taking the place of b can be filled with the value of b which is plus 15 and this blank which is taking the value of c can be filled in with minus 3 since the value of c is minus 3 